Everybody, Mr. Fritz, just wanted to uh, go over talking about ion charges again and how you can know their chemical formula of a cation and anion when they combine and also the chemical name. So we'll go over a couple examples here uh, today. Sodium, if sodium's your cation, the way you know that is first it's a metal and also um, it's going to have a positive charge. If you look on the periodic table, sodium is here, right? And that means sodium is going to lose one electron to have a full valence shell, so it's going to be like neon, okay? So sodium is going to lose one electron. That means it's going to have a positive one charge. It lost a negative charge, so now it's a positive one. Oxygen, right here on the periodic table, okay? Oops. Right here. So it's going to gain two electrons to be like neon, all right? So it's gaining two negative charges, so it's got a negative two charge. So now we get to the part where we want to name it, and the way you do that is real easy. You just go the, the name of the cation, which is sodium, and then oxygen is the name of the anion, but we drop the ending and add ide. Sodium oxide is the name, okay? I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me see if I can move it a little bit closer. It might help out a bit. Yep, sorry about that. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, sodium oxide. Now we gotta do the chemical formula. When you make an ionic compound, you are combining the cation and the anion, but they, they're not gonna combine unless it, the charge equals zero. So we have a positive one and a negative two charge. So if I balance the charge out, it's gonna be Na1 plus and O2 minus. Okay, so what do I need more of? Need more sodium. Now I have a positive two charge and a negative two charge. So the chemical formula is going to be Na2O2O, because I just have one oxygen. So that's the chemical formula. Okay. Look down here, the next one, magnesium and phosphorus. So magnesium is right here on the periodic table. It's in group two, right here. Yep. So it's going to actually lose one, two electrons to be like neon. Okay. So it's going to lose two electrons. It's got a positive two charge. Phosphorus is going to, it's right here. Phosphorus is actually going to gain one, two, three electrons to be like argon. So it's going to have a negative three charge. Okay? So now we have a positive two and negative three charge. We'll balance those out in a second. The name is going to be magnesium phosphide, I-D-E, okay? Because it's ionic. So now we balance the charges out, Mg2 plus P3 minus, we need more magnesium, now we have a positive 4 charge and a negative 3, we need another phosphorus, now we have a negative 6 and a positive 4, so we need another magnesium to be positive 6 and negative 6, now it equals 0, so we can write out Mg123 of them, P2, so that is the chemical formula, this is just balancing the charges, okay? Next one, aluminum and fluorine. So aluminum is, let's see, it's right here on your periodic table. So it's actually going to lose one, two, three electrons to be like neon. So it's going to have a positive three charge. And then fluorine is going to gain one electron to be like neon. Again, they're not turning into the noble gas. They just have the same number of valence electrons. So now we have aluminum. Floor, whoops, you first, fluoride, okay? And now, when we balance the charges, we have Al3+, plus, F1-, minus. we need more fluorine, add another one, okay? Now we have negative 2, we need another one, now we have negative 3 and positive 3, and that equals 0, so now I can write out the formula, AlF123. That's the chemical formula for aluminum fluoride. Okay, next two down, these have a polyatomic ion. Remember, these are not on the periodic table. Nitrate is this one, and it's got a negative one charge. I'll give you that on a test. Next one down is sulfate. That's also polyatomic. It's made of more than one atom, so it has a negative two charge. Again, I don't expect you to memorize that. I'll give it to you on the test. Uh, beryllium, I'm not going to show you on the periodic table, but it has a positive two charge, loses two electrons. So now we have a positive 2 and a negative 1 charge. We'll balance those in a second. If I want to name it, it's beryllium 
nitrate. Nitrate. So you just take the name of this polyatomic ion, which is nitrate. You don't do the I this time. Okay. So now we balance the charges out. Be two plus and NO three one minus. Okay. What do I need more of? I need more NO three one minus. Now I have a charge of negative two to cancel out the positive two of my beryllium. So now when I write the formula, it's going to be Be NO three. But how many NO threes do I have? One two. So I have to put it in parentheses because it's polyatomic. So BeNO3, 2. Okay? Uh, next one down, we've got boron. Boron actually has a positive 3 charge. It loses 3 electrons. And sulfate. So this one is called boron sulfate. Okay? And when I want to balance the charges out, got a B, B3 plus charge and an SO4, 2 minus. Okay? Those charges don't balance equally, positive 3 and negative 2. So I add another boron, positive 3, now I got positive 6, add another sulfate, now I got negative 4, now I got to add another one, negative 6. So negative 6, positive 6, now I equal 0. So now the formula is B2SO4 in parentheses because it's polyatomic and I have 1, 2, 3 of them. So B2SO4, 3. Okay.